this weird podcast. I don't know. Part two. Here we go. Go ahead. I don't, I don't want to sound stupid on film, but yeah. it was not film, but you Who know. Who cares? I've been recorded, but um, yeah, that's why you see the um, the uh, lights from <clears throat> the uh, from the poles. So you can't see it from 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 what I know. You, I don't think you can see it from anywhere inside the U.S. Maybe Alaska, but that's probably the only place. And even then, it's doubtful. I mean, I've never been to Alaska, so I don't know. <clears throat> so it's it's hard to tell when you've never been to a place that sees it. I know, like places in like the northern European countries, you can definitely see it because they're like right. They're not far in the North Pole, but they're like close enough to where you can see. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know how we got into space from like World War Two, <laughs> but um, I don't even know how that started. How did World War Two started? No, I don't. The no, conversation. I don't know how it shifted from World War Two to space. Maybe it has something to do with like uh, oil. No. It had to do with oil and resources, and it also had, because we were talking about the islands that uh-huh. Japan and China were <clears throat> going through, and then, and then I started speaking about how water, if it becomes a scarce resource in, mm-hmm. in, in the whole entire world, we might have to take, we might oh, have to yeah, go yeah. into other planets to get that resource. <clears throat> Mars being yeah. one of them, if it's, you know, primarily it has ice, mm-hmm. we could use that. Problem <clears throat> is, we don't, we don't have the tech not well. I can't say I can't say I can only speak what I think, but I feel like we don't have the technology to send a rocket or some sort of you know manned remote control. Well, definitely machine. like manned, for of course, because it because it would take it would take about how much? I think it was like six months to get. To <clears> I don't time. know because I remember I think it said. I remember depending on where Mars is in respect to the yeah. Earth, they 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 have to use like the planets rotate uh orbit around the earth to give it a sort of slingshot boost mm-hmm. so <clears throat> i don't know how they calculate this it oh, some right. amazing minds in nasa or whatever who calculates this it, stuff yeah. but from the diagram i remember is that like is that if earth is <clears throat> behind in front of mars that's when they have to launch because if Mars passes the Earth, or I don't think it'll pass it because Earth is close to the Sun, but Mars happens to be in front of the Earth like after like maybe a year or so, and Mars has to go around to make a full revolution. I don't, they wouldn't be able to make it because Mars is going too fast. Oh. So when Mars is behind the Earth, or <clears throat> whatever your percep- perception of Mars is, mm-hmm. They, they had to launch because by the time they get out of there, Mars will be in their path so they can land. Very Again, I don't know how they calculate how fast the, the planets spin, but they do it somehow. Would it be easier to just, <coughs> would it be much easier to create some sort of, a, I don't know, maybe a station or something on the moon? Well, they're plan- they, are, they say they're thinking about doing that. That's, but then again, that's just, they said they just made building a telescope on the moon. Ah, but the thing about that is, who would be, who would claim that as their territory? Which country would be? Uh, that's that's I a big question. Don't know. And that's and that's what I mean, though, then again, get I don't very know, hairy. I don't know if the moon would be something to start a war over, uh, because it's just a rock. But then again, that's what keeps us alive. If yeah. it weren't for the moon. The whole, the whole, the whole sea would be completely different. Yeah. For, for instance, if it were to be, I don't know, a few different miles away, farther away, <clears throat> the, the, the the pull of the of the moon would would definitely affect the the oceans. If it were closer, it would make the what the oceans a lot more violent. Isn't that that no, I, don't, <clears throat> I don't think it's not. <clears throat> I don't know if the moon has poles or not, but. Maybe theoretical poles, but well, I mean, it controls. Uh, it has yeah, some sort of magnetic. It has a, a grab gra- gravitational uh, pull. Gravitational impulse, impulse uh, pull on the uh, on the Earth's ocean. In fact, there's this one um, place in China. I forgot where it is. Um, they have this giant canal running through the city, and because of the Earth's pull, moon's pull, <clears throat> it like sends like a wave of water through this canal, and people surf on it. 
It happens about like once a year. Like if you've seen Cosmos, you would know that. Mm. So I, mean, I didn't watch that episode. <laughs> yeah, um but anyway, but yeah, if the moon like when it well, it's gonna disappear anyway because like it's slowly going out of Earth's gravitational field because it's rotating, spinning too fast, mm -hmm. orbiting too fast. <clears throat> Sounds like it wants to break up with us. Yeah, because like if, like it had like stuff like that, like with giant celestial bodies, like the <clears throat> the rotation has to be slow enough to n not slow enough to not uh pull away from the earth yet fast enough not to crash into it so it has to be an exact speed for it to you know to not uh to not leave or stray away but it's slightly faster so eventually i think it's time to say maybe like a million years or so yeah that's way before <clears throat> i think the, i think by that time we'll have the technological capabilities of already leaving this planet yeah by that time, I'm sure I'm sure we'll already be on different planets. If yeah. not, we are already <laughs> too far away from our solar system. So. Yeah, and that um, but they said like when the moon leaves the Earth, then that set that count that like it unbalances the Earth because without the moon to keep the Earth stable, <clears throat> the Earth just spins like every which way, which could be very catastrophic. Oh yeah, I because mean, just a polar like, shift. Have you heard about that? Like if the polar, if the if the polar ice caps or whatever were to shift, you know, to the, you know, instead of being in the north mm. or in the south, <clears throat> maybe to the east or the west, mm. that whole that whole that whole thing could be incredibly catastrophic for the for not just the United States but the whole entire world. Yeah. I mean, earthquakes would be happening in different areas that yeah. aren't at once. Oh yeah, a lot of things. Could happen. No, I don't. I don't exactly <clears throat> know the um, the exact uh things what would happen, but I know like it's not just an instant shift. It no. takes like thousands, maybe millions of years for it to happen. I so. wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say millions. <coughs> I would say somewhere between the hundreds and thousands. I mean, yeah. hundreds, hundreds, two thousands. I mean to say. Yeah. yeah. I mean, though I would. I I mean I don't know, but um I, I was saying. I would say that maybe, like, if it's such a gradual shift, <clears throat> earthquakes and tsunamis are going to stop popping up all over the place, like, maybe humans will slowly adapt as it's switching or something, but, <clears throat> I mean, it would be catastrophic if it just did it like, like that. Oh. Like, instantly, oh, oh, no, yeah, that. No, that's, that's complete human annihilation. Yeah. Like that. <clears throat> like that. But, anyway, without the moon, like, the earth would just be rotating and every which way like as it is now only one half of the earth is daytime and the other half is night so when if you throw that out of balance like there's like night and day and like in like europe and like africa well no europe and like uh asia but yeah i mean but <clears throat> yeah I, I mean i don't know i mean they're they're pretty much still on the same side of the earth but like i would say like maybe like perhaps like maybe like the half half of Russia, maybe China, and then like Canada and some part of the U.S. Man, while the other half or quarter or whatever of the Earth is dark, and like with the northern countries facing the sun <clears throat> for who knows how long, that would cause the ice to melt, the sea levels to raise, killing mil billions of people. Oh, that's scary to think yeah. about. Yeah, I mean, it's which is why, like, the moon isn't, well, I guess it may be a bigger concern than the sun, because the sun's going to blow.